Henry, I, uh, I know not the outcome you were hoping for tonight, but uh, just give us your immediate thoughts on the fight. Um, I know some people felt you won. Sean O'Malley was in here. He said he thought you won. Did you feel you won? Sure, why not? <laughs> I got I to gotta rewatch the fight. I just know the improvements that I, uh, that I have to make to, uh, to flip that, you know? It's like, yeah, I fought my ass off, but at the same time, it's, it has been three years, but I had a great training camp, you know? I could have done more, or could have adjusted. Not could have done more, but could have adjusted on some things, and that's, that's kind of what, what bugs me a little bit. Just stupid little errors, like, in particularly that first round. I was winning it, put him to his back. I, I just allowed him to kind of kind of steal it at the very end, and... I mean, there's a lot of people who think that I won. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. I mean, uh, typically the the way I see it, if I don't if I don't dominate, like, just it's just hard, man. I'm, I'm such a fucking competitor, man. I don't think people realize. I like to me, it's 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 all or nothing. If I'm not first, I'm fucking last. You know? Um I know there was some moments you know, of success, but you kind of said there, like, do you think in some of those sequences, if you didn't have the three years, like? Before, when you were fighting, would you have been a little sharper there? Do you think the time off had a lot to do with it? Because I know you feel you're a smarter fighter now, but was the execution just not there? Yeah, probably. Like, even when I retired, uh, after I won the Olympics, I retired for three years. It was, it, was, it was incredible, the fact that I made it all the way this, I made it all the way to the semifinals at the Olympic trials against the number one guy in the world. And I literally, I, I missed the Olympic team by that much. I only had like maybe seven, eight matches of competition, which just to like take it there. You know, the, the, sometimes you make your own bed and that's, that's, that's what happens. Um, you know, I, I gotta go back and really think about what is it that I, that I wanna do, cause I just, uh, I'm out to chase greatness, man. I'm not just, I'm, I'm just not out here just to fight, just to fight, man. Just to hear the crowd roar. You guys tell me, good job. Oh, I think you won. Like my, my, my dream is to just reach mountains that nobody's ever climbed. And I think, uh, and, and that's, probably, that's partially why I take my, my resume that serious, and that's probably why I even started the shtick, because, because I am proud of it, you know? Can I say it? The Olympic champ, the flyweight champ, the bantamweight champion of the world, the greatest combat athlete of all time. Like, that's, uh, you know, that, these, this is the stuff that motivates me. And uh, I mean, it is what it is, man. I, I will say this, man. Algebra was awkward as hell, dude. Like he was like, I now I understand the fuck. I thought it was just his, his breath of the fact that it was probably a little smelly, but the dude was, he, he, he was, he is a little awkward in there. If you don't have those right guys to mimic him, it's just, it's different. It's just, it's just different. Cause he, he's a freestyler. Like he's just, uh, you don't, he, he's out there making adjustments on the move or he's just moving just to move or he's doing certain things just to do. And it'll, 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 it'll mess with you a little bit. What, what do you think? I know in the, when you talked to Rogan in there, you said you got, you're kind of internally conflicted. Um, it's been a few more minutes, not too long, but if you had to bet right now, do we see you fight ever again? I got to watch the fight. I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, Dana did it. It was pretty cool that Dana did help me remove my, my gloves, <laughs> which is really nice. I got a nice little uh, handshake from him too. <sighs> I don't know, man. I, I, I got to lay back. You know, my wife's pregnant. Like, we're getting ready to have another kid. And uh, even these last, you know, two to three months, like, not being able to give my kid that attention that I I'm, I'm, I'm a good father, man. I love spending time with my kid. I love playing with them. And it's just, like, cutting weight, not holding her, kind of neglecting that. Like, just having a lot of my training partners play with her, it's almost like, those are the stuff that, uh, you know, maybe to a lot of people, maybe a lot, of, a lot of you guys don't give a fuck, but to me, it's, it's it, it, the time with my kid means the world to me, especially the fact that I have another, another one on the way. No, as it should. And just last thing for me, um, it still shows you're held in high regard. You probably haven't seen this, but Brandon Moreno uh, took to Instagram and basically called you out. He said after his next fight, he wants to fight you in Mexico City. He would even move up to Bantamweight. He said, F the belts. And that's a fight he seems to badly want. I guess now everybody wants a piece of me, huh? <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll talk about it. I mean, money talks. If the UFC wants to put it together and there's a nice little budget in for both of us. I ain't doing it in Mexico, though. Hell no. We can do it here in America or something like that. But I'm not opposed to any of that. Yeah.
not to just immediately start building your next fight, but what exactly is the issue for people who don't know between you and Brandon? Uh, we were friends at one point. He even lived with me for, for a minute and uh, got him on the Ultimate Fighter show. That didn't, uh, that didn't plan out. That didn't work out. Uh, I did, I, we, picked him, we, we tried to pick him second due to uh, the way the stats work and the team stuff. He ended up going to the other team. He ended up training with Benavides and uh, we just became unfriends. You know what I'm saying? But we were close at one point. But that, that, that's the last of it I'm thinking of. Like, I, I'm, after, I'm after gold, man. Like, my biggest thing was to, was to sincerely beat Aljo, fight O'Malley, and then go after Volkanovski. If I had a close fight, a close split decision with Aljo, I mean, what I had planned with Volkanovski is just like, fuck, man. You know, it hurts me. It, 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 that's what burns. It's not that Aljo fight. You know what I'm saying? It's the fact that what I had already premeditated. Yeah. I would never come back if I didn't think I could do something like that. And losing a split decision where a lot of people think that I won, it's just like, I don't know, man. It's, uh, I'm a little confused, man. I'm a little pissed and I'm a little, you know? Uh, I, Anybody think that I won here? You guys can be sincere, man. <laughs> I did. From, from what, I, from what yeah. I understand, everyone cage side saw it closer to your way and then people online and watching the broadcast saw it closer to his way so I don't know what you can do with that but um, well, if Dana wants to give me another title shot maybe I'll do that but if not I'm just gonna sit down and really talk to the wife and see what uh, see what I want to do you know I, I, I don't know if this is something you even care about at this point but do you view the way that that fight between him and Sean O'Malley could go and do you have a favourite in that fight who could probably win it If, if Aljo can't take him down, he's in trouble, you know? Because Sean does have good striking. Sean does go to the body very well. He does have those kicks up the middle. But being into with Aljo, too, I think he's a gamer. So it all depends. I think, uh, obviously, having a close fight with Aljo, I, I got to go with him. You know what I'm saying? I think, uh, I think O'Malley hasn't fought. Now the competition that Aljo has fought, and now you can kind of... I can shake his hand. You know what I'm saying? I can be like, hey, salute. I mean, not to just throw options at you, and this will be the last one for me. I mean, they have a problem with Marab in that he can't fight for the title. Maybe you could go take that care of that problem for them. You beat his teammate, you get a rematch right away. Hey, I love the storylines you guys are giving me. Okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take some time. I'm going to take some time and, uh, and just see. Talk to Ali. Talk to my management, and then uh, it opens up a lot of doors because you also have a lot of other killers too, you know, with San Hagen and, uh, you know, Umar. Like, depends, depends what can kind of come together. Uh, and I'm not sure if you'd had time to see this, but Conor McGregor posted a video to his Twitter offering you some advice for your next fight, telling you maybe you should switch <laughs> stances and it'll go better your way and offering you some coaching tips. <laughs> Man, Conor McGregor don't got shit on my resume. That's all I got to say. You know, he's been stopped after a three-year layoff, what I was able to do and compete. And then hearing, hearing the boos from the crowd once, uh, you know, they announced the winner, I mean, that, that says a lot to me. But there's still levels, and I, I still know that I could get better, too. But I, guys, like, even, like, you know, selling this fight, like, it's okay, man. Bring the hate. Maybe it'll motivate me, you know? I, I'm not one of these guys that was just like, yeah, I'm a little pissed because I hate losing, but... I love it. I love it. So thank you, Connor. Henry, <laughs> way over, <laughs> way over to your right here, Henry. Um, I wanted to. Hey, ask sorry about that joke too last time. It was just too good. Man. You, you can't be asking how much I weighed. Man. <laughs> it, it, it was a good joke. I appreciated it. Um, you know, I wanted to ask about that crowd reaction. Were you surprised at times to hear that, Henry? 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 Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think I think Alger might be the real hill, dude. I thought I was a hill for a minute. I mean, uh, I was, I'm 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 confused in that sense too. And uh, when it comes to, to Connor's messages, one of the things that he has said is that he believes your, I mean, you talked about your resume. He was quite critical of your resume. He said 16 and two in, in MMA. He, he said you're a novice in the game. What's your response to that? Yeah, yeah. I do have, you know, for the amount of fights that I do have, I am, like, I, w I haven't been fighting like a lot of these other guys. R -A -I. You know, it just shows the levels of where I could get to. I mean, but look at the people who I've beaten. Nope, C-O-R-Y. Demetrius, TJ, 
you know what I mean? Uh, Dominant Cruz. You know, after a three-year layoff, I had a split, you know, I lost to a split decision to the current champ now. If I decide to make this run, I will reclaim that belt again, you know? But like I said before, like my, my, goal, was, my goal was to go up to 145 pounds. Like that's where, that's kind of where I draw the line, you know? Thank you. Henry, Henry over here. Uh, si tuvieras que decir un porcentaje hoy, ¿dónde piensas que regresarías? 135 o 145 pensando a lo mejor en construir esa idea que tenías de ir por el tercer cinturón? Repita la pregunta. Si tuvieras que decir un porcentaje hoy, ¿de dónde pensarías que regresas? ¿135 o 145 pensando en ese tercer cinturón? No, pues... Ciento, uh, es difícil man, pensar en eso ahorita. ¿Sí me entiendes? Después de una derrota, o sea, o sea tienen un chingo de fe en mí. Y yo también. Solo que... You know, cuando, cuando, cuando pierdes, es, es difícil de tener ese ánimo. ¿Sí me entiendes? Especialmente de todo lo que pasó y todo eso. Ahorita no estoy pensando en eso, la verdad. Quiero, quiero ver la pelea. Quiero ver cómo me fue. Y, y, y you no, know, mi mujer está embarazada ahorita. Ya te dije que lo vamos a ir a la Ciudad de México por un tiempito para vivir. Y estar ahí, estar ahí. Si me entiendes, o sea, lo más importante para mí es mi familia. You know, yo, yo, he hecho, yo he hecho ese deporte desde los 11 años a los 63 a lo máximo y llegué logré todo lo que yo quería lograr I'm gonna repeat this man guys I've been doing this shit since age 11 to age 33 at the highest levels and won everything I've ever desired to do I'm not out here for the fucking crowds I'm not I'm not out here I'm not even though I portray that on the cameras I'm not out here yeah I may flex on it I'm out here to make history and if I can't make history I'm not I'm not doing this shit Like that's how that's how that's how much of a competitor that I am. I just telling my coach like, yeah, you won, you won. But I didn't win. The belt's not around my waist, you know. And and I just gotta talk to my family, talk to my wife, and then just take it from there. It has nothing to do with anybody. It has nothing to do with ego. It just has to do with me. You know, it's like trying to climb out Everest and you don't do it. You know, you either do it or you don't. That's it. Sé que, sé que no has visto el post de, de, de Brandon, pero puso una foto que yo les tomé en, en tu cuarto en UFC 196 cuando ibas a pelear con Dimitrius. Te gustan mucho los storylines y, y sí sería, digo, no lo, no lo construiste así, pero terminó siendo como una pelea que la gente quiere ver. Sí, claro, claro. Creo que, creo, yo sé las cosas que yo necesito hacer en esta pelea, cómo ajustar y todo eso. So, si yo regreso a pelear, van a haber una diferente versión conmigo. Yo sé las cosas que yo hice mal. Yo sé también las cosas que también hice bien. You know? Primeramente, Brandon, uh, Alexander Pantoja la va a ganar. Yo sé de eso. So, la verdad, para mí eso no me importa. Yo estoy aquí para ganar títulos mundiales. Y si no es todo, man, si no es todo, no es nada para mí. ¿Sí me entiendes? So, son cosas que necesito pensarlas, man. ¿Sí me entiendes? Enseñame el billete y tal vez. <laughs> Gracias, Henry. And Tri Triple C. You think You're I want Schmo? Be honest. You're my friend. Yeah, my Hebrew, but it wasn't a robbery. It could have gone either way, but I had you winning. My Hebrew brother. Question for you. You're the ultimate competitor. How does this feeling compare to the first DJ fight? Man, well, DJ fucked me up the first time we fought. Um, this feels more like the Benavides fight where, uh, where I lost and people say, hey, dude, you won, bro. Like, I feel that feeling again. But, I, but the belt's not around my waist, Mo. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what uh, you guys can pat me on the back or tell me that it was a close fight. Oh, yeah, I thought you won, blah, blah, blah. But where's my belt? You're always adjusting and changing things, taking it fight to fight. Is there anything you would have done differently? I know it's fresh in your mind, but is there anything you would have done differently leading up to this fight if you could have done it over again? Yeah, not let that first one kind of slip away. He kind of stole it after I had taken him down. I relaxed a little too much against the cage. I probably should have respected his cage a little bit more. I was trying to catch a breather in there just to kind of, you know, catch my threshold and be good, but he ended up stealing it. Little things like that, man, that kind of bother me because those, that's the stuff that I hit on people, you know. 
And lastly, now that he has a victory over you, where would you put Aljamain Sterling amongst the all-time bantamweights in UFC history? Yeah, he beat the Triple C. Put him at number one. You have to, man. I mean, look, look at the people that he's beaten already. Henry over Unless here. they give us a rematch. There we go. <laughs> Question for you, Henry, on your left, far left. Um, the counter wrestling was excellent. He wasn't able to get in any real shots on you. You were able to stuff, I think, pretty much all of them, or at least made him have to chain a few things. I noticed you weren't doing a whole lot of offensive wrestling, initiating the wrestling exchanges. Was that on purpose, or did that just... That was the flow of the fight? Was a game plan? How'd that play out? No, because I noticed that Aljamain, he likes to take breathers, like when he's on bottom. If you even notice when I was on top of him, like I kind of, I made him get up. I'm like, because he'll do certain things where he'll be on bottom and he'll just chill out. He'll just hang. He'll stall out there. So to me, it was like, I, 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 I was going to start with the takedowns if I was able to fatigue him and really break him down and then bring the takedowns in. And then really get on top of him and start hurting him. But if I wasn't doing that, I'm, I got to keep it on my feet. Because it's not enough. Because he will catch his breather. So that's kind of more of where the game plan was kind of going for, like, for me. You know, just adjusting. And uh, I, had to, I wanted to break him down first before I started really picking up and bringing that wrestling. In. And I wasn't doing that. You know? What do you mean by that? I, wasn't, I, w I didn't hurt him enough to really do that. So take my chances on my feet to really solidify something or win the rounds that way. Like, like I said, man, he'll catch his breathers. Like I've seen it with Jan and I've seen it with a lot of these other fighters. Would perhaps a breather not maybe have won you a round? For him? For you. Won you a round. If you're on top and he's just stalling out. I just didn't know. I just didn't know how the card, I just didn't know how the rounds were. So I just, I just, I, I gotta go back and rewatch that fight. Like everything's kind of fucking a blur a little bit. Henry over here. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on a tremendous performance, especially three years away. You looked like uh, you never stepped away. Uh, is it hard being the competitor that you are to see the positives? I mean, you guys packed this house, sold out crowd, broke records. You performed like you didn't t take a step away from the cage. Um, is it hard to see the positives right now, just being the competitor that you are? Yeah, it is hard. It is hard. It is hard. But I, like I said, man, I got to go back, rewatch that fight, and just take it from there. You know? I, I, know, I know there's a better version to me, but, you know, take risks, man. Go in there and, and try to scrap. You know, the, like, the only thing I can promise is my best. And my best wasn't enough. I ran to your buddy Nick, and we were getting lost in the arena trying to find uh, his four seats. But uh, nevertheless, we talked. Uh, it just seems like you're a perfectionist. You get to the highest level of, of the sport, wrestling, and MMA being that perfectionist. Uh, it, it, are you, it, is this going to just take time for you to get back, get acclimated to? You, you're a perfectionist, obviously being a father, a husband, like living this life and navigating these new steps in life that you have taken. Is it just going to take time just to you know, balance everything out and find a way to be a perfectionist in all these different areas of your life, especially being a newfound father? Yeah, and, and it is different. And there's one thing that I will say that I never planned on doing is fighting when I had kids. Because to be the best in the world is you have to be so sh selfish. And when I'm in fight camp, I, you have to be so sh selfish, like all about you. It, it is, it, it, to me, it, it was a bit different with, with the family. But th 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 there's no excuse, you know what I'm saying? Because there's, there's love and there's other motivations that comes with that stuff. But uh, that's kind of where I stand. Anyways, who got the bonus? Did we get a bonus or no? No. no? Thank you. Henry, you, you were talking about the Benavides fight before. How long did it take you to kind of process that defeat? You know, which you obviously you kind of have people saying, okay, we think you won, but you didn't feel like you won. How long did it take you to process that? And do you think that maybe it'll play out similarly for you here? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe. I just think because it's been three years and I've been able to help a lot of people, um, you know, d do some amazing things and make certain adjustments for them that it's been, uh, it's just different, man. It's like you can't, you can't serve two masters, you know, and uh, I, I have to make that decision because if I'm in full time on what, if I'm going to do this, then I'm in full time, you know, or I, I just can't dabble into both. You know, like I said, guys, like the, the, my biggest thing is I want it all. If I can't have it all, I don't want none of it. <laughs> and I mean that. 
you were talking about earlier in the week, you guys were planning on doing some stuff in the city, maybe go get some pizza, that kind of thing. Is this the type of thing where maybe you change plans, or are you still going to try and do some family stuff and try to get out there and, and move away from this, at least temporarily? Yeah, of course, man. Like, it's, uh, I, owe, I owe it to my wife. I owe it to my family. You know, I'm going to Brazil here in a, in a couple, in a few days. We're going to enjoy the city a little bit. You know, pizza might be a little bitter, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to enjoy it. Thank you. Henry, just got one for you on your left. So I know there was a lot of talk about the grappling between him and D3 and all that stuff, but once you got in there and now that it's done, can you just talk about how close of a matchup it really was? Those grappling exchanges were pretty nice to see and really close. Yeah, what, was, uh, what were the takedown ratios? I don't even know. I don't know, I don't know the stats off the top of my head. I'll pull it well, up right now. I think that'll help. <laughs> Wi-Fi is struggling. <laughs> yeah. What did you think, Mike? What did you think of the fight? Cage side, I thought you were up 3-1 going into the fifth, but that was only one angle. No replays, anything like that. So it's kind of hard to see. Um, but that first round was very close, and I think the back take was a big piece of it. Uh, takedowns, he was credited with four. You were credited with three. Okay. He had 135 significant strikes. You had 99. Uh, control time, you had five minutes, he had four. Okay, so I won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, dude, the dude, uh, either way, dude, you're a wrestler. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was able, of course, dude, you know, if he was able to, and he did say something. If I'm, if I'm able to lock my hands, it's different. And then I felt that, I'm just like, Fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't have taken it there. I should have just, you know, could have defended a little earlier rather than just kind of just hanging out. But sometimes I'll, 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 I'll leave people there so they can carry my weight to fatigue them, you know? And, and I'll do that. And that's from wrestling all these years. But he was able to kind of carry that gas tank, you know? And uh, I think that's where it was at for him. It was, it was his threshold. I wasn't expecting him to continue to keep coming like that. Did a good job, dude. Did a good job. You hey, know? Triple C, back here. Quick one for me. Um, they just posted the scorecard, and in the fifth round, the same judge that scored your fight against Joseph Benavides for Benavides was the one that scored um, it for Aljo in the fifth round. Yeah. Who is it? What's his name, by the way? I mean, according to the scorecards, Derek, clearly. I don't know, he's got something. I don't know if I owe him money. I don't know what. I just don't know, guys. I mean, it is what it is. I got to rewatch that fight, and then if they want to give me another title shot, let's do it. Yeah, thank you guys so much, dude. I really appreciate it, man. You know, I try, I try, to, put, I, you know, I try to make everything entertaining, dude. And uh, I appreciate you guys. I really do, man, sincerely. It's been three years, and it's... Since I come back, but coming back, I'm just like, man, it's, you guys are diehards too, man, just like us. So I appreciate, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm out.